Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donna Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. I am going to paint another stem flower like a botanical and it is more of a, just like a watercolor feel. I like that. I think it's kind of nice when we're just relaxing and painting to do something that is not difficult but it um, teaches us a little something. So I'm putting out my floating medium so it will look a little bit more like watercolor. All right. And then I'm going to take a pencil and kind of sketch on some, um, it's called canvas paper, but it's got a little bit of texture and it's white. So I thought it would look good with what we're doing, but this looks really good on just a plain white gesso canvas. All right, so think about that. I've done a few of those for my classes, or my local classes, and we call them the campers because they camp out and never leave. And so we have a good time. So I just wanted you to see, this is something we sit down and I go, let's paint something. And I give them a canvas and we just have fun. So take a deep breath. And we have hurricanes here in Florida right now. And, but I, it's missing us and getting us some uh, well needed water probably. But um, I just want you to relax and enjoy this morning uh, or whenever you get to watch this and share your painting on the Folk Art One Stroke. No, it's Donna Dewberry's official um, Facebook group. No. <laughs> I'm losing it. It's Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group. All right. And Dewberry's has an S and they're loving, wonderful artists on there. And we love sharing with beginners on how to do this. And also don't forget to go to my Friday practice strokes and watch them over and over and do those with me so that you get to learn right now I'm teaching all the different brushes in my signature brush set, all the different most used 13 brushes. Now my value pack is the green handle and there's uh, 10 of those. So both of those are just awesome. But I'm, as I'm sharing that with you, I teach you how to use different, different brushes and what you paint with those. All right, sound good? All right, so I can take a deep breath because the hurricane didn't do much to us last night. It's actually a tropical storm now. So I am going to relax. And the best thing, my little message for the day is be prepared. Because being prepared made a big difference in how we slept last night. All right. And let's go to my overhead camera. And thank you for supporting. And for all of you who are doing the One Stroke Advantage Membership Club with me, because what's happening there is it makes it possible and for YouTube to support me more so I can be on here more. Is that fun? So I made a messy palette because my lid kept popping on here. but And I also lost my, my nail this week. And so I have to put on a Band-Aid and I'm sorry. So when y'all see that and go, what's wrong with you, ma'am? <laughs> It is a bad thumb. Okay, so citrus green and a little bit of sap we're going to use, just a little bit. All right, I put some floating medium here. I have dioxazine, purple, and violet pansy, so whatever you have. Some titanium white, some june berry. It's really fun. Just I thought we'd use a touch of that. And daffodil yellow because we're going to put some yellow in these bright leaves that we're going to do. All right, so that's the first thing is getting your colors out. And then what I want to do is like on watercolor, lots of times they will sketch um, the flowers and stems that they're going to do because it makes it easier for you. Now I'm going to come down a little bit more. I want you to only sketch it so light that only you see it. 
but I'm trying to make mine a little darker so you guys can see it. All right, just a little bit. All right. Now, up here are little buds that haven't opened. All right, and here's a bud. All right, so they're just little teeny buds. I'll even put one right in here. This is like a bot botanical in a book where they just show the flower and tell you about the flower. All right, so right here, we're going to come up and over. And um, these are different types of fuchsia. So the fuchsia that I'm used to comes a little bit of a wiggle down here. So let's go closer so you see it. So we have that, and then they have peaks that come up. Now, I've never painted them like that, but I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I make it kind of like it is here, where each one of these segments come up, and then it goes up to a peak. And we're using purple for these. And usually, I have this little stem that's hanging down here with some colors on that too, okay? So then I have another one that hangs down and it's before it's opened up, but it's past the bud stage before it's totally open, right? So that's gonna be coming down there. So let's do another one over here. So up and over. So let's do this a different way now. So this comes down, has a petal, and then it comes up to a point. Here to a point. Here to a point. All right, so now what we're going to do is that's going to have a little bit of a center hanging also. I think I want another one up here somewhere. Let's come up here and do it right there. So there's my triangle. Okay. And it could be a triangle, could be a bud, but okay. All right, so if you do this really light enough, you don't have to erase the pencil, but you could erase it depending on um, how light you do it, okay? So now I'm going to come here and do a leaf, okay? Can you see that? It's so one, two, three. All right, I have a couple little green, little few. See a little bit of those on each one of these. All right. And we're going to come down here and make it fuller. Okay. Oops, I didn't let y'all see that look. So here's one part another and another all right so now what's really pretty about these the down here what i love that drew me to this is i want you to see these leaves so it's those but they're formed better now so look they come out here and then they come back and they have lots of little veins in here all right so then it comes out here and back out. Now it bulges there and gets skinny. You see that? And it also has lots of veins in there. And then this one comes out again. It's 
same thing here. So now the key to make this look good is this gap in these spots. All right. Now you can print off the picture and click on the picture on the end here and you can print it and trace it with the tracing paper and transfer it if that makes it easier for you. All right, so I'm going to come in here, go scooping in, scoop out and back, scoop out and see how this one curved up this way. And then this one, we're going to erase the stem in the middle. All right, so I can decide if I want to put a couple more of those to kind of see what happens. All right, so let's go have fun now. So a couple of things that we're going to need is we're going to need a script, a two script liner. And then I'm going to go over here and I have a 10 flat. All right, here's an eight. The eight might be better. And when I do these bigger leaves, um, I did bring a 10 too, so that maybe for the leaves, but I'm going to use a 12. Is this a 12? Yeah, I'm going to use a 12. All right, so we're going to put these are all on my standard brushes. All right, the value pack brushes. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is I want to pick up, let's do a 12 where I'm putting some medium and I actually want to just come in here with Juneberry. I take a little bit of white and put citrus on that white and just a little bit more medium. And that'll give us a nice stem. See that color? All right, so I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to get right here. I'm going to go past it. Now it's easier to control this brush than it is the chisel of this brush than it is to do that with a liner. I know a lot of people want to use a liner, but I'm, I guide you to not do that. Um, when you have some of the little turned rolled over stems, then a script liner would work for that. Okay, so it looks a little big in some places, but that's fine. I'm going to take a two script liner and make it a little bit inky on that Juneberry. Roll the brush and then come off of it. All right. So the reason I want to do this is that I do have a couple of spots where I'm going to come right here and come over. All right, so I notice this paper is not absorbing it like water, watercolor. <laughs> so maybe that wasn't a good choice. But watercolor paper would make this really nice for you. I just thought this texture would be kind of cool. But it looks like it's beating up a little bit. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. All right, so... We're going to come right down here and do another stem. So look, that is beating up. So I'm going to just go slower and then it does it. Then it covers it really well. All right. So let's get our small, this is the eight flat and let's come up here 
and um, get a little bit of this medium and work some citrus in. All right, and a teeny bit, itty bitty bit. Let's come up here close. Just a little teeny bit of sap. All right. So here's the first one. We're just going to do a chisel and keep putting a few of these strokes in here until those little chisel strokes make this one. All right, so now I'm going to come back to get a little bit more paint. And if you chisel here, chisel and lean out, chisel and lean out. Okay, I'm going to keep going over here and get medium because it's dry, it's not picking up too well. All right, so then all I'm doing is pushing, pushing and lifting. All right, I almost missed that, didn't I? Let me do it again here. One, two. All right, so then as I'm pushing and filling in, put some here. All right, so citrus, sap, and medium. Little bit of sap. All right, so those are different size ones. And then, well, I've got that color. I can touch, wiggle, touch, wiggle. So when I push down, I just wave it a little bit. And it gives you a little bit of that green. All right, and that's just because it's new growth here. I may see it's the difference is I have that really light citrus, and then I got some touches of sap, not much, just little teeny touches, and that gives you the depth. All right, there's another little guy. All right, so we're going to, oops, I've got another stem here that I missed. It comes from here over into this flower. All righty. Okay, now I am going to get the two script liner. Are y'all taking a deep breath? All right, I've got the two script liner with inky and I'm going to do little bits of pink there, like it's blooming. Little teeny bit there. All right. So the stems and these little bits of bud. Isn't that nice? There we go. So it's kind of fun, right? All right, so we're going to come in here and work with some of this purple. So I, I'm not sure if I want the, the dioxazine purple right now. Let's just use the violet pansy. I put just a teeny, teeny bit of white and then medium. All right, now every time I come off, I come right here and get a little bit more. All right, so let's see what this looks like. We're going to come right here. It's 
So I'm wiggling out and then wiggling back. All right, now what I did notice is I push and then lift. Okay, little teeny guys. Now we're gonna come back with the darker, the diaxazine purple. But for right now, let's do this. Let's right in here. All right, then we're gonna come in and do these little skinny tops. All right. Now, what I usually do when I make fuchsia is I make those as um, complete, like a one stroke leaf up there all the way around, but I use it as a petal. All right, that was just the bottom part. And then right here, let's do it again where we're coming down and up, wiggle. Pull them all up. Okay. And then we're going to come up here. And you have these little pieces that come up from the blossom. Okay. So that doesn't look like too much yet until we shade them and and add some centers to them. So I'm going to come right here with my dirty brush and pick up some diaxazine purple. All right. So. Oh, you know what? That's not purple, that's blue. All right, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad I tested that. Wouldn't have been terrible, but we'll put some purple. Dioxazine purple. So I'm going to take medium, come there with the purple. This is just a fun little project. Imagine making some greeting cards with this. Wouldn't that be fun? So look, I'm coming in here. Look how rich that makes it. And then all I'm doing is putting the dark purple from the middle. So let's do it here again. So see, we can pull the purple from the center. Then we can make, look, I can do the shorter strokes of color in there. And that add to it. This doesn't have the upper pieces. It just has some dioxazine purple there. All right, and then I'm going to get more medium. So I'm adding little bits in here, coming down in some areas. Okay. So, so far, isn't that looking pretty? Well, I think what makes it is when we get to do the leaves. All right. So there you just saw that it was a couple colors. And now what we're going to do is take our, our 12 flat. Yeah, I'm going to pick up some yellow and citrus. So we're going to make it a little bit bright here. Get some medium. And I'm going to have just a teeny bit of sap. All right. So we can practice up here a little bit. We're going to come here, out and back. OK. So let's do one of these. Let's start right here and do a jagged edge there. All right, so I'm going to come closer. 
All right, so we did come around here and back up. I'm going to come right here. We're going to come back in there with some purples in a minute. But right now, we're just trying to get the shape. So it comes in like this and like this. Same thing here. And then we wiggle all this outside edge. Okay, so we've got yellow and citrus, a little bit of sap. A little bit more medium with all of my colors. There we go. I want to take a little bit of that green on the outside of this, these little ones right there. Okay, so they're going to look better when we put, I mean, they're fun, but I want you to see how detailed they get when we put all the veins with the Juneberry in there. Actually, it's purple. So we come here and out. We're going to come here and out. come here and out. Okay. Now the last little detail is we're going to come right here with citrus and our two script liner. We're going to pull a little bit of stem. Stem and stem. A little bit of citrus. Oops. And over here. All right, so we have those little stems. But then I'm going to take, oops, that's blue again. I want to take dioxazine purple. And I need to use water to make it inky. I hope you enjoy working on these. These petals are a little different. And the leaves are a little different, but it really makes a difference. And the look that we're getting, and I was having fun with it. So, all right, so we're going to come right in here. Can you see that? So it should be darker right here. And then... Darker right here. All right. So any detail like that you add really makes it more interesting. So in here, I want it darker right there. And here. Botanicals, so go look them up if you haven't before. They're fun. Where they're just the stem itself, sometimes they add the root. On um, There's whole books of them. I would go to garage sales and book sales and look for them because I love them. One more. A little bit more in these areas here to make it darker. Oh, isn't that pretty? 
I love those colors together. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. And we're just going to sign it. Um, this is not actually all the fuchsia that I've seen before, but what I thought was wonderful about this is it gives you that same illusion. So I did not, the flower is in some other language. <laughs> so I didn't get the name of it, but I will have to look it up for you. Have a nice day. I hope you get a chance to come back and paint with me.